Mack and this is launched at Red Bull Studios. Over the past two series of this show, we have helped discover some incredible new artists who've gone on to achieve some really good things in their careers. People like Bastille, the 1975, Aluna George, Laura Mavula and Jesse Ware have all been launched right here. This show is all about finding out a little bit more about new artists that music industry insiders have tipped for the top in 2014. Tonight's show is all about two artists, Max Marshall and Linus Young. We will be chatting to Max in just a bit, but first of all, let me introduce to you the excellent Linus Young. Joseph and Iris, hello and welcome to launch. Hello, hello. So great to meet you both. Mm -hmm. You guys hail from LA, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. How did you two hook up together? I actually uh, 
met uh, Malay, our producer, that's helping us out and making us sound lovely. And uh, he mentioned, uh, what have you ever thought about maybe a female vocalist? He said he had the perfect girl for me, and it turned out to be, I think, a pretty good match. Yeah. When well, Malay brought him to me, um, I discovered how great he was, and we just kind of clicked. Yeah, the, after the first song, we were just like, this is cool. Let's do another song. Yeah, <laughs> kept going. <laughs> and a year later, here you are. Here exactly. we are, I know, it's pretty it's, wild. Yeah, it's crazy that it's, <laughs> yeah, it's we're having fun. Um, so both of you worked in music before you met each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so w d is it true, Joseph, that you play guitar for Frank Ocean? Uh, yes, it's not, actually I met Malay and uh, yeah. I, I did the Channel Orange tour with him. And so we kind of started yeah. a, a, a lovely bromance. I don't, know <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, you know, I was working more so like on solo things and yeah. kind of writing. And, and then when I met Joe and we started doing our thing, it just yeah. it felt like this is what it's meant to be. You know, it just felt right. We started the L.Y. sound. Yeah. OK, don't go anywhere, Linus Young. We are going to hear more from you later on in the show. But the other artist on tonight's show is a young lady called Max Marshall. Why don't we hear from one of her biggest fans and find out why they are tipping her for the top in 2014? Max Marshall, the reason I love her is because she's not just an artist. You know, she's super creative. When I met her for the first time, I found out that she's actually got a bit of a fashion background. She's not scared to be unique. If you love your, like, 90s R&B, which I do, then that's what the vocal reminds me of. It's reminiscent of that kind of, like, Lauryn Hill, Brandy. It's just got something about it where you think, yes, you know? People now are listening with a really sophisticated ear. They like real singer-songwriters. 2014, mark my words, is going to be her year. For me, the favourite track has to be Don't Trip. It's the perfect track to relax to. If there's a record that you want to play every morning that just makes you feel a bit elevated, Don't Trip is the kind of track that you would put on your playlist.
Hello, Max Marshall. Welcome to Launch. Hello, Annie. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. I think of all the artists that are on Launch this year, you definitely have the most interesting and kind of colourful past um, in terms of just the role that music has played in your life so far. Both your parents worked in and around music when you were, when you were growing up. Mm -hmm. um, your mom has a connection with Tupac Shakur. Tell yeah, me. Tupac was one of the students at Baltimore Theatre School where my mom taught and helped people get into auditions for theatre, dance and singing. Did that help you having a mom that was teach a teacher of performance as such? Did she, oh, te did she help you out? it's definitely a huge element. Yeah. It adds in every way. Mm, I bet. And then your dad um, drove a, a tour bus. Right. It's a, it's a tour bus, but it was a family bus to us. We took it across country a couple of times, but yeah. eventually it led to music and we got to have stars rented out for different festivals and things around my town. And it was lovely to be like side stage and yeah. watching performances and that. Yeah, incredible. Can you remember the point in your life when you thought, I want to do what these people do. I want to be a performer. It was about the same time I was watching them, really. Yeah, about the age of 13, 14, I really decided this is what I wanted to do. And then how did you get from Baltimore to London? Because you've been living here, right? Right. Mm. Uh, uni, basically. Okay. And what was the uni that kind of, that was here that you had to be a part of? Regents. It's okay. Regents. And I so studied fashion. fashion design. Yeah. yeah. So it's true, is it, you made Lady Gaga's wigs? I worked under Charlie Lehman Do, and we did wigs as well as garments. All types of things, piano. She wore a lot of hair related yeah. things if you look back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Max. We are going to have more from Max later on in the show and also find out who is backing Linus Young for big things in 2014. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Launched at Red Bull Studios. If you've just joined us, we have been basically just blowing your mind with new music for 2014. Namely, two artists, Max Marshall and Linus Young. Don't just take our word for it, though. Both artists have some incredible support, and in Linus Young's case, it's from this guy. To me, it's like the real deal. There's not much gimmick behind it. It's just, it is what it is. I mean, you, when you see him live, it's just kind of, it's just a great band. I mean, great singing, great playing great songs, <laughs> you know, it's like simple, <laughs> so which is hard to come by, so it's, it's cool. 2014 is going to be a big year for Linus Young based on, you know, we just finished up a great tour with the 1975 uh, in, the, in the U.S. and Canada. Um, they're slated to start doing a lot more performing over here uh, in the U.K. And, and in Europe. It feels like things have been moving really quick, but it, I feel like when, when you have, like I said before, great songs, great people, gr you know, great music. It, it, things kind of happen quick that way. So every artist that comes on this program has an ambassador, someone who kind of comes on camera and vocally just supports that band. And in your case, it is Malay. Yeah, to me it's amazing, you know. You know, and then you know when I met him, the connection, and then his talent is ridiculous. Absolutely, he's he, got an incredible resume. Yeah. It's like you know, if you're in the studio with him ideas start to come to life, you mm. know. He has no, like, he, no boundaries, you know. He, there's nothing tying him to a certain sound. Mm. How do we get so lucky to meet somebody so talented, you know? And it, He's it, a bad boy. He, yeah, he, he brings <laughs> our talents to another level. He's so. a bad boy and I like to hang out with bad boys. <laughs> okay, and let's talk about the next track then that you're gonna do. What's that? Sister. Sister. Okay. Yep. That's like one of the first songs that we yeah. actually wrote one of and my recorded songs together. I think we did, yeah. Yeah, and that's like from the moment we did that song, that's how I knew. Yeah, we kind of did that, and then how the it. whole process started <laughs> after that. Mm. You know, I still get chills like the way he plays guitar and the, the way our voices yeah. sound together. I still mm. hear it and I'm like, woo. <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it feels so good to be so excited, you know, about something that you've done creatively together. It must be brilliant. Yeah, yes. I'm lucky to have met this guy. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> we have a lot of fun. It's just, the journey's just getting started, yeah. you know. You started off so, oh. so promisingly and so, successfully so far so yeah best to look for the rest well, of thank you so much okay thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Incredible stuff there from Linus Young. Expect some massive things from them in 2014. Speaking of which, we are joined again by Max Marshall. Hello, Max. Hello, Annie. OK, so you're going to play us out with your next single, Your Love Is Like. Tell us a bit about this one. Your Love Is Like is... It's a different element of my music. It's sweet, it's a bit of hip-hop, mm -hmm. it's a bit of R&B, it's a bit of soul. Yeah. And it's about young love, so everyone can relate to that. Yeah. And so 2014 is kind of stretching ahead of us now. We're just at the start of the year. Have you got any hopes and dreams for this year? Where would you like to be by the end of it? I would love to be still doing music mm -hmm. and definitely making progress towards albums and festivals and all the things that come great musically in the year around the middle. Yeah. In the Junes and July. Any, any dream festival? Have you been to Glastonbury? No, not yet, actually. <gasps> I know. It's amazing. It's a right of passage. I must go. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, best of luck for the year. Thank you, Annie. And we look forward to hearing your music. <laughs> Just take 